What's going on everyone? I'm Will and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a complete tour of my aquarium plant farm as it currently stands today, which is July 7th, I believe, 2022. I just wanna give you guys some updates, let you know how things are going and so you can get some sneak peeks on things that are coming down the line. And for those of you that are new here on this channel, I propagate aquarium plants, teach folks how to propagate their own aquarium plants and how to keep low-tech planted aquariums. Um, I do sell a lot of aquarium plants that are grown by me here at my own facility, and I sell them on my website, which I'll have a link in the description. All sales are greatly appreciated. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a pretty casual tour. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot a master clip, and then I'm gonna overlay some photos for you so that you can uh, get some close-up, more detailed looks at what I have here at the farm. And I'm just kind of giving you a brief rundown of my main grow room here real quick. And then I also have a quote unquote warehouse, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys as well later on. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this racking system here. This is the initial racking setup that I put together. It's uh, built out of two by four construction. And then for containers here, I'm just using Rubbermaid totes with clear lids. Lighting is LED lighting, and this whole system is pretty much dedicated towards growing stem plants. Uh, I think that's pretty much exclusively what I have in this setup. And we'll go ahead and pick out some of the uh, current tubs that are you know, in good shape to show you guys some highlights. And up here we have water wisteria. I actually have four tubs of water wisteria there. I have four tubs of Bacopa caroliniana, and four tubs of Starragine repens, and then four tubs of um, Ludwigia repens. I have some other tubs that I'm currently experimenting with various species or phasing in or phasing out. And some of those include uh, Hygrophila pinnatophyta, Ludwigia palustris, uh, some more Ludwigia palustris, and some um, Pogostamen stellatus octopus, which is just planted, so we won't even show you that one. But this is all grown, all these plants are grown in regular old miracle Grow potting soil. I have a lid on each setup, which does not have pretty much any ventilation holes drilled in them. Um, the main purpose for that is to keep humidity as high as possible. I found that when pairing, you know, high quality potting soil with aquarium plants and high humidity, you get plants that really don't need to be converted nearly as much as typical immersed grown plants. And the result is, is plants that fare much better in aquariums and actually ship really well. So that's why I grow a lot of my stem plants in soil. And I would recommend that if you guys are trying to propagate stem plants, to consider propagating the plants this way as well. It's just really simple. So that's a look at this system. We'll go ahead and now go over here and take a look at this setup. This here is one of my many Anubius Nana grow setups. And this is actually a hydroponic system, so it does not have any soil, but rather has hydroponic media and hydroponic nutrient solution. So if you take a look down in here, you'll see these clay balls. Those are actually fired ceramic media. And the technical brand is Hydroton. That stuff is inert, so it doesn't have any nutrients in it whatsoever. Um, the plants are getting their nutrients from water. As you can see, I have about an inch and a half or so of water down there, which is fortified with hydroponic nutrient solution. These plants grow really well, and I've found that this system suits my needs <laughs> very well. I've grown all sorts of Anubias um, in various setups, and this system is by far my favorite for a lot of reasons. It's clean, it's easy to harvest. Um, those are kind of the main ones. It also grows plants very well in kind of a compact uh, growth form, which is excellent for my purposes. If you wanna have a setup like this, the, basically the, the simple, if I was to boil it down to the simple terms, you have a light that has to be a quality grow light. You're gonna have a lid to trap in most of your humidity. You're gonna have about an inch and a half of water down there that's fortified with nutrient solution and I typically use either maxi grow or I use foliage pro for most of my hydroponic systems um, those are my two favorite fertilizers that I've experimented with in the past um, you'll see an air line that's coming in here with an air stone and that's the purpose of that is to circulate in fresh gases including co2 
and oxygen for photosynthesis and plant respiration. Um, that's gonna boost your growth pretty significantly in here. But again, you just wanna trap in humidity, keep these plants as moist as possible, and they should grow quite well for you. So that's a look at this one. This is my plant packing station. So if I get any orders, I pack them up here and I have my boxes down here and then I ship them out. Um, this is basically my workstation, I guess. And I do a lot of plant propagation here as well. So moving on over here, we have one of my more recent setups. This is a steel wire rack system, um, which is also using LED lighting. The top rack here has um, double the amount of light that all of the other racks uh, shelves have. So this is for my higher light plants. And up, up here I have red plants, specifically Alternanthera renacii. And again, I'll go ahead and show you guys some photos. So there's some AR for you. Next up, we have four tubs of um, Java moss and this stuff starting to grow in. And I can just go ahead and pop this and show you inside. So there's some moss and stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed because I am gonna be doing some updates on how I grow these types of plants as well. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed for that. Down here we have four tubs of water sprite and I'm now offering these plants as fully rooted specimens. So I can pop the cap here and show you inside. The quality of these plants is absolutely stunning and uh, those are available for purchase on my website now, which I'm super excited about. Next up we have baby tears. These are the giant variety and get, it, get you a look here. So there's some baby tears for you. And then down on the bottom we have giant duckweed, which is gonna be coming back to the website here probably in about two weeks or so. I'll be selling this stuff again, which I'm pretty pleased about. So two tubs of that here. And then we have some Pogostamen stellatus octopus as well. And those are looking pretty nice. Actually, I haven't checked those in a couple of days, so they've grown quite a bit. So that's a look at the main grow room that I have. Um, I really just have those three setups. I got the rack here, I got the, the metal rack we were just looking at, and then I have my Anubias setup over here. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the system out in the warehouse. All right guys, so here we are out in the warehouse. This system here consists of three four foot by four foot grow tables. Each table is independent from one another and is on casters so I can roll them around the room for maintenance, which is pretty nice. And then for lighting, I have six four foot LED strip lights. These tables are pretty amazing. They basically use the same principles for growing plants as um, that Anubia system that we've already looked at. So we'll go ahead and pop this lid here. These lids are greenhouse panels. Each lid um, panel is two feet by four feet. So uh, two of them comprises the lid for each one of these systems. And we'll just take a look here. We have a bunch of Java fern. In fact, this entire setup here is dedicated to just Java fern. This is the regular variety. And then in the back, I have a bunch more of the regular variety. And then I also have some needle leaf um, stock as well. I haven't started selling this, but this will come to the website at some point in the future. The basic principles here, like I said, are really just like the Anubia system we already looked at. You'll notice I have about an inch and a half of water or so, and then I'm using the same kind of substrate in here, Hydroton, and each plant is planted into its own individual pot, which makes harvesting quite easy. Um, I do have a fish tank heater in here as well. So during the winter time, I can turn that on to keep the uh, climate in here right at about 78 degrees, which is excellent for Java fern. So that's a look at this setup. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this far system here. Again, same deal. Uh, you just have the hydroponic nutrient solution with the substrate. And here we have more of regular Java fern. And then in the back, I believe I have more regular Java fern over here, as well as a bunch of Anubias nana. So that's this one. And then if we take a look at the last system here, I've got a couple of other species in here that I haven't really been able to successfully propagate out at on a mass scale, um, but they're getting there. So we have more Anubias nana, which is growing in, growing well. 
Um, these are actually seedlings of Anubius nana that I was able to propagate via seed, which is something that's pretty rare in the hobby. I'm experimenting with a ear stone in this setup versus not in this one and not in that one. And so far I would say that the air stone definitely does seem to boost growth in these systems. So if you're gonna do something similar to this, I would recommend an air stone for sure. Back here I have mini bulbitis, um, quite a bit of that actually. I'll pop the back lid. You can take a look at that. That stuff's looking pretty amazing. I'll be selling this at some point. I need to divide those up and get them um, to occupy this whole entire tray here before I start selling them. But as you can see, they're looking pretty good. And in fact, they're actually probably getting a little bit too crowded in there. You're starting to see a little bit of browning. So it's time for me to divide those up. Here we have Anubius Nana Petite. This is the only stock that I have of it. So eventually I'd like to be able to sell that, but obviously I'm a ways out. I just don't have enough material yet to sell that. Here we have more Anubius Nana, and then here we have some Bucephalandra Godzilla, which is actually growing quite nicely, um, but same deal. I just don't have enough of that to really offer for sale yet, so I have more work to do before I can sell that on the website. So that's a look at the warehouse system. I just love this system. It looks, it looks pretty incredible when you're out here um, just taking a look at it. I love how, how big it is. I can fit about 1400 plants in this setup. I know it's been a while since we did a tour like this, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, remember to give the video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please subscribe. And as always, guys, I do sell these plants on my website, and all sales help to support this channel and my small business and are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.